Good evening and welcome to Drakenheim. This is the Dungeon Dudes Weekly Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition Livestream Campaign. My name is Monty Martin, running our campaign as Dungeon Master, and I'm joined by my very good friends. Kelly McLaughlin, who is going to be playing Wilhelm Wolfsbane, the human swashbuckler rogue. And we are also joined by our other good friends. Bill Denitis, playing Rudy Whitaker, the shifter eldritch knight. And Joe O'Gorman playing Wrath, the Asimar Warlock. Thank you for joining us once again. If you are just tuning in for the very first time, welcome. We are the Dungeon Dudes, and <laughs> Kelly and I post new videos every Thursday and occasionally on Tuesdays, where we cover everything Dungeons and Dragons, including advice for players and guides for Dungeon Masters. You can check that all out at youtube.com slash Dungeon Dudes. And this today, we just posted our part one of our tier rankings for fighters in Dungeons and Dragons so you want if you want to know who reigns supreme between Paluto Jackson and, Paluto Jackson. Uh, and Rudy Whitaker uh, we will find uh, find out uh, you can also join us on Tuesday nights when we record the campaign live on Twitch check us out from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes and you can also watch the video episodes of the show on YouTube afterwards and also if you aren't into watching the show on YouTube but you'd like to listen along with us the entire first season Dungeons of Drakenheim and we are up to date on the second season Shadows of Drakenheim it, it's all available now as a podcast which you can find on Apple Podcasts Google Play, or Spotify. So check it out there for your listening pleasure. All righty. And uh, with nothing else to announce, I believe we can head back into the shadows. Drakenheim is no more. For 15 years, we foolishly believed the madness and mayhem of that crumbling city was confined to the ruins. We were wrong. Insidious horrors have crept out of the shadow of Drakenheim into a world unprepared for such nightmares. Tales of strange magic, swirling haze, and unspeakable terrors echo through the villages and towns surrounding that first place. Now, the Dusk Wardens, a new band of heroes, are tasked with driving out the seeping tendrils of the spreading darkness before it takes root. Troll killer. I want to see you kill some trolls. Welcome back to the Shadows of Drakenheim. When last we left our heroes, they had arrived in the great city of Dransmund, there, which, befitting its name, is the point where the Dran River, which extends from the ruins of Drakenheim, empties out into Ash Bay and further from there into the sea. Discovering that Dransman has been inflicted by a series of brutal killings, as well as those afflicted by madness throwing themselves into the sea, our heroes at the behest of River have decided to investigate. Following the trail of one of the most recent killings, they found within the sewers of Dransman a battle between the furry, vicious rattlings of Drakenheim and the strange fish people, ostensibly also followers of uh, from the, far off from Drakenheim as well. From here, they have ventured deep into the sewer system, where after breaking up the battle between the ratlings and the fish folk, they have saved one. This. Sim the, this one named uh, Bakum Bakum, and uh, <laughs> and having saved Bakum Bakum, uh, they uh, are being led back from there to the uh, t t Bakum Bakum is leading them to his leader Cookie. <laughs> At least one survived the battle. <laughs> 
Now, I do think it's in our best interest to learn exactly what these fish folk are up to, and perhaps they know the whereabouts of the rattling home base, wherever that may be. And we can use this knowledge to decipher the origin of the mystery that plagues Transmond. Of course. Yes, Bruce is very interested in where these fish people uh, populate themselves. Now, Rath, I don't want you eating any of these fish people. That's probably ill-advised, or, or feeding them to your cat. We don't know yet what sort of contaminants might be in their uh, <laughs> system. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I've I've seen Bruce eat some things. One time, he ate a thousand-year-old mummy. Gross. It was uh, it was like jerky. Um, so just as, as a small side note, Kelly and I, cause we're in the same room, we might have to mute our own microphones uh, when we're not speaking there, Kelly. <laughs> uh, thanks for bearing with us. Uh, uh, thank, thank you all for bearing with us on this uh, again. Uh, just to reiterate before we go, go much further, we are running into a couple tech glitches with, with Twitch and the fact that Kelly and I, uh, Kelly's power is out. So please bear with us. Uh, for those of you joining us along tonight, we might just have a bit of a bumpy road this evening. <laughs> So Thank we'll you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. With that. Um, so as you, um, you are all now in the sewers of Dransmond and having followed through and along, um, following the, with Bauckham Bauckham, the fish, the strange creature with its glistening scales and bulbous eyes leads you through the underground streets, um, through, through some areas where you kind of have to jump over the various sewer canals, although Bakum Bakum seems fine with simply swimming where necessary, past trash and the corpses of other ratlings as well, um, until... After about a few minutes, after a few minutes of leading you through the sewers themselves, um, he says, "We are approaching our sanctuary, and I will introduce you to Cookie, our priestess. Please keep your weapons away. This is a sanctuary of peace." Well, as, mm. as long as we don't feel threatened, then of course we will. We're, we come in peace as well. But know that. We will defend ourselves if we need to, but hopefully it's not that kind of situation. Are there more of you? Do the rat people know where you are? We have held out our encampment here for some time. The ratlings have attacked us from time to time, but we have always driven them back. Whether or not they know that this is where their survivors continue to assault us though here. This is only one of a few of our sanctuaries. We have others further outside and up the coast where we come from. And of course, there is the great palace of the Duchess. And um, whereabouts is the Duchess's palace located? Uh, can you give us some specifics? Uh, if we're going to be talking to Cookie and perhaps meeting the Duchess, uh, we might have to deal with some of the rats first. So it might help us to know our bearings in this strange land. I am sure the, the, that Cookie will tell you where you may seek an audience with the Duchess. It is, you will, it is a hidden cove f uh, north of the, the city and you will need to be able uh, and in your current state i do not think that you would be able to survive the trip there what do you mean we wouldn't be able to survive well you are cursed I'm cursed sorry, how we're, we're cursed you are i don't feel mm. cursed well you are humans and you are shore dwellers, land walkers. Can you breathe water? Well, no, that, that don't mean I'm cursed, though. Oh, no, you are mistaken. You are gripped by the same curse that, that holds all those that live in the, in the city above. You are cursed 
Walking on land, you cannot swim. You cannot breathe the free water in the ocean air. Oh, you must truly live a miserable life. Yes, young Bakum Bakum, we do live miserable lives. What is the path to salvation? Well, Cookie will be able to show you all the way. She, with the great wisdom of the Duchess, has found a way to break your terrible curse. And uh, is this a ritual that you have taken in, Bakum Bakum? Oh, yes. Yes. I only have dim memories of my time under the curse, but I recall for many, many years I lived upon the land, and now, though, I have been reborn. <laughs> you so mentioned earlier that uh, you were helping the people of Dransmond. Uh, are, you, are you helping them by relieving them of their horrible curse? Yes, that's what we're... We have been sent by the Duchess to help you. Help us or help the, all the, the uh, land-faring folk? Well, of course, the land-faring folk are still subjects of the great and powerful Duchess. And she is a benevolent and loving leader who would not want you to live under a horrible curse. I, I look over to Wilhelm and Wrath with this um, look like... Uh, <laughs> I, I very carefully, like, I nod at both of you, and then I say, like, slowly, so, it sounds like we need to go meet the Duchess and see what we can do to solve any problems. And I wink. <laughs> <laughs> sounds about right, of course. The only way sounds like we need to meet Cookie and the Duchess and... Wilhelm, you closed your eyes. What's wrong? I don't understand. Right, I have an eye. I went to a... <laughs> I, was, I was blinking, I, Wrath. I was, I was blinking. Um, we should also... Uh, excuse me, uh, Sir Fish. Um, do your people... Do, does Cookie know the whereabouts of um, the, the rat folk or, where, or a general idea of where they may be attacking from? Oh, eh. We have long looked for their nests, but they are truly forsaken. For in blasphemous reversal, the furry little grubbers, they dig under the earth as if a true fish would swim through the ocean. Where their horrific nest is, well, we've been searching for it to root them out. They have embraced the curse of the earth. Young Bakum Bakum, I ask you, do all those who are under the curse that meet Priestess Cookie, uh, are they required to remove the curse or is it a path of, of choice? Cookie will explain. You may come before her even in your curse state. Uh, in, 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 uh, wow, 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 uh, do we feel comfortable meeting this creature? It may not like the fact that we are surface dwellers and we may be forced to fight our way out or to fend off this, this cure. What, what do you think? we should do should we still meet this priestess can you hear my thoughts or do i have to respond out loud really awkwardly <laughs> this is a great question uh i feel, uh, I feel like I can, speak to you. I can speak to you oh so i should ask you yes or no questions <laughs> do you still want to meet the priestess yes um, the, Wink at me if you my agree. Under, my understanding is with the telepathy is that you can uh, a creature with telepathy um, can communicate in your mind, um, and by double checking actually because it, it is one of those relevant things. I'm pretty sure um, that because you are telepathic, you can get a response, um, and um, and communicate. Uh, back and forth, but let's just double check to make sure because 
we've been keeping this little power in uh um in kind of in the the back the the back burner so let's actually figure out exactly i i was that... reading it over and i'm sure there's some uh some uh rules the judge rules uh but uh you know i always have pictured it like i can, it's like a a one way line yeah um yes yeah, so a cre uh a creature without tele telepathy can receive and respond to telepathic messages but can't initiate or terminate it so you just have to listen to me go la 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 i'm in your head la 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 yeah you're still muted there kelly Oh, yes. Um, so, yes, I can respond then to you while we're telepathically communicating. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, is, in that case... Is it only one at a time? Um, uh, I believe with the Warlock power, you can have multiple telepathic co conversations, but it's kind of like a conduit thing. <laughs> yeah. I switch a lot between us. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. the rat folk and the fish folk that we've encountered didn't go down i mean they they went down pretty easily to our spells and swords so i imagine that if we get into trouble we can fight our way out i would hope um if the numbers start to appear too great we might need to uh, be cautious but i do think that if we are to solve dransman problem uh we need to we need to find the source which is the location of both the rat folks den and the Duchess. Those are the two pieces that we need in order to solve this mystery. And then I, I believe we should play along with the idea of the cure and gain more information about what they know about the Rattlings. We could easily take them down in one fight or force them to fight each other. And worst case, uh, just summon about 20 more of those uh, portals that you seem to be able to open, and we should be okay, Wrath. Um, Rudy, what do you think? Do you think this is a good plan? I, I haven't. Uh, wh what do you think? Are, are, am I, do, is it okay? Do I hear this telepathically, though? I guess it's like one way to him. Or yeah. So Wilhelm and Rudy cannot communicate telepathically with each other. Yeah. They always have to go through Wrath in order in order to facilitate these conversations. So Wrath, so, are you relaying the message yeah. to me? Wrath, can you <laughs> yeah. ask Rudy if she agrees with my plan? <laughs> This is just like when mom and dad fight. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Rudy, um, Wilhelm believes that uh, he his eye patch is just for show and that he has been pulling a farce. No. Um, yeah, I'm going to relay what. Okay. What, <laughs> what I think it's the right idea. I think we need to get down to the bottom of this. Let's do it. Very good. <clears throat> okay. Um, in that case, so the you can as you carry out this very telephone tag style telepathic conversation with each other, um, you continue back uh, toward following Bakum Bakum, who eventually uh, leads you to a crossroads at the sewers. I want to use my pearl of power. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to use my pearl of power and get one more. Uh spell slot back going in it is done thank you now here the here's what you see ahead of you the sewer comes to a series of intersections where um uh, ahead of you the sewer pathway continues only on one side of the canal so there's the canal which here the water is flowing quite quickly um and it is all kind of uh flowing back into this nexus point where it looks like the fish folk have created a makeshift dam in the water they have put in um spikes and pontoons to create a defensive perimeter and they've lit small um lamp-like torches to illuminate the area around them um so that they can clearly see you know any signs of rattlings sneaking forth the sewer tunnels here, though, are not high at all. Well, the, the canal itself is only about... Uh, the There's the side walkway, which is a, about eight feet wide, and 
it's only about a foot down to the canal where the water is flowing. And while you can kind of see the bottom here and there of the of the canal, it would if you were to jump in there, it would probably go up to your waist. Um, the ceiling is quite low, however, down here in the sewers. And in fact, um, you in in many cases. Um, it is no higher than eight feet in height. At some points, even you can even put your arm up, and the the tallest among you can easily touch the 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 ceiling. It is slightly curved and rounded as well, and vaulted up up in the top. So its height varies, but it is overall quite a low low ceiling. Looking ahead, you cannot see further past the, the darkness here, but it looks like the the fish folk have made a second perimeter here, and as you come up. Um, Bakum Bakum uh, cries out in in um, kind of this popping language. This goes, and so the, it looks like he's like flapping the fish lips and making these popping, bubbling noises interspersed with a little bit of a, a gurgling, like a that somewhat sounds like someone trying to speak while drowning. <laughs> Um, and, uh, so they, they intersperse between noises and the, gur the, the gurgles and, uh, looking back over at each, each other, the, the, the two forward, these kind of the, these slimy gill covered, um, fish folk, each of them are carrying spears and shields that they, they brace up against the, the wall of spikes. Um, They've got like this light, pale, pinkish, purplish flesh and the big bulging yellow eyes. And they're wearing just a little bit of cloth rags around, around them with a room for their, their tails to stick out. And they, they cry out, Bakum, Bakum, you brought visitors back. This is forbidden. None, you're not supposed to bring the cursed ones back unless you've got them tied up tight. It's okay. We are friends of yours. We are strangers to this land. Silence! And... Curse... He speaks up. Silence, cursed one! Speak no lies to us! Well, I hope that, you know, it earns us a little Silence! bit of respect that... Silence! You are cursed! And you speak only lies! Baka, 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 tell him we how saved dare your life. you! Um, you must tie up your prisoners, gag them, lest they corrupt your mind with their awful speaking. Uh, did we make a bad choice? Um, Bakum, Bakum, are you, yes. have you fallen out of favor with your own people? Bakum, Bakum speaks back up and says, they saved my life. I would have been destroyed by the awful furred rattlings were it not for their help, their intervention. There is a lucidity in the madness that grips these ones. They might make great knights in the Duchess's court. And I'll, we're nothing if not excellent knights. <laughs> and I'll have the group of you roll a persuasion check, all three of you. All right. I just got a 26. Uh, 23. Seven. <laughs> okay. Um, the, the one, look, uh, one of the, 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 the fish folk points at Rudy and says, Look, you can already see the curse is getting worse on her. Look at all that extra hair. <laughs> and, and is that a tail? <laughs> look at that furry, bushy tail. Yes, of course it is. I that's because I am not just a regular surface dweller, you fish folk. Mm. She's already transforming into one of the rats. Listen. We are surface dwellers, but we have the power to shape the reality in which you seek if you wish to win this war against the rat folk. We are required if not necessary and if you do not accept our help you will perish among the other things that lie beneath the sewers make an intimidation check 
Uh, 15. Oh! This surface dweller appears dangerous. But very well. You keep your weapons in your pockets, surface dwellers, land walkers, striders, with your disgusting feet. Although they have feet as well. Just webbed ones. <laughs> <laughs> um Bakum Bakum, they are your responsibility while they are with us. If they try anything, you will be the one who is responsible for their misdeeds. Well tell the Duchess you did it. And I suppose if you try anything, then it's your fault if uh, you meet Wrath's, um, Wrath? Hmm. <laughs> One well, way of saying it. With that, they admit you further. Um, moving out, uh, um, you're going to have to leap across the, the canal or swim through the water, but they move away One of the this... Uh, one of the barriers, they move it slightly to the side so that you can enter. You want me uh, to toss you all over? I can do it myself, and I take a running jump over. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. Um, Bakum Bakum swims forward and says, Come along! Come along! I will introduce you to Archpriest Cookie! I want to get thrown, Rudy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I take Wrath by like his collar and like are you wearing pants? Are you wear like Yes, I have pants. Okay, by like, you know, <laughs> those two areas. And I like hoof you over. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if it was a robe, just a robe. I don't know. I don't make I, no assumptions. Just go, grab a grab a huft of of uh, material. If I made it to the other side, fine. Then I'm on the other side, and I try to catch him, but he kind of just lands on me. I, and... I'm I I can I can arrow myself. Like I, I I straighten myself up. This is now I'm getting more comfortable with the idea of Rudy throwing me. Okay. I still I try like to catch you. Into... <laughs> I appreciate that. I don't want to land on the spikes. So. You are led forward into a large chamber. This is a central pump pumping room where several water flows uh, are all converging together. And what you can see before you is that there is a large central um, island around several splitting canals and pipes that are flowing in. The sound of flowing water uh, fills the entire room as various pipes bring both sewage and storm water into this, this room before you. Um, they let you pass this set of uh, spikes and across a rough w wooden bridge where the fish folks have actually constructed a small village with t uh, with tents that appear to be made of rattling hides. <laughs> Is that them sprayed out? <laughs> That's yeah, like their bone yeah. structure? <laughs> yeah, uh, At least they're resourceful. And so in, in here as well, in several corners of the, of the room, they are nurturing what look like to be these uh, phosphorescent fungi that one of the fish folk is harvesting and collecting in a basket, uh, ostensibly to eat, perhaps. Um, and over in the corner here, there's a pair of cages in which there is a rattling that has a gag tied around its mouth. It's muzzled, and it's taking its claws and dragging them across the cage bars, and the, the, the fish folk there is slapping him with a, with a, a, a stick and, 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 and knocks it out unconscious as it, as it causes the, the ruckus. Um, several other fish folk are all converged through the village here. Many of them are uh, crafting spears uh, out of what bits of driftwood they can find from the sewage. Um, and they are and some of them have these uh, shells or rocks that they are carving into flint uh, flint heads for their spears and makeshift weapons and building their their own things. Um, what you can see is that they've created defenses over around this this passage here and the passage leading out. And this is actually where all the water is flowing out towards. Um, so the um, 
all the water that is coming in here is flowing in from these pipes, this pipe, and from the direction you came, and then it flows out down in this area here, where it looks like they've actually dammed up and made some defenses as well. You can see that there is a door leading out here as well, uh, that the, it looks like they have actually dug a pit in front of to defend anything that might come through that door. So they've they've constructed their own quite uh, um, well, they are makeshift defenses. Uh, they've forged quite a perimeter down here, and um, how many fish folk could possibly dwell here? Probably dozens of them could comfortably live all all here. You can actually see that they're uh, um, that they've collected quite a bit of trash and food and whatnot and refuse uh, from all of the the various flowing sources of of sewage. Although they're there is kind of a strange glinting in the water as you you pa pass through, um, and so it uh, it there you know just the the light in this whole chamber. There's several torches illuminating everything, uh, but the light in this whole chamber just feels somewhat off. As Bakum Bakum leads you forward into the chamber, he says, "Come, come, welcome, welcome to our village," and uh, and. Uh, he says, Arch Priestess Cookie, the Great One, I bring to you brave, cursed ones from the surface world. They have saved my life and are here to help us against our mortal enemies, the Ratlings. Um, and with that, as you come through the village, um, there is a small, what uh, initially looks like a campfire. But there are several pots and pans hanging over it, and you can see within them, the campfire is actually made of a, a, several pieces of delirium, and there's an eldritch flame burning over the delirium that is being, and the fumes of which are being captured into a burner, um, and the the, there's some sort of apparatus with a cauldron and what even look like a few alchemical tools. And what is happening is the this bloated fish folk with these big kind of catfish-like feelers coming off of her um, is inhaling the fumes and then bringing, uh, and then she's eating the fungus, chewing it up and regurgitating it into vials and mixing it with, with what looks like to be a, bo a bottle of thick, slimy seawater. And then she's putting them into small uh, jars, what looks to be like this jam-like liquid. And, and then the other fish folk around her are helping her seal it up as she's creating it. And so she spits out what's in her mouth and she speaks, Ah! Ah! Disgusting! Cursed beings! Bokum, bokum! How dare you bring such cursed creatures to this sanctuary? Guys, don't, don't eat whatever it is they're cooking, okay? Just, just Wrath? Wrath? Chris is licking his lips. Wrath, look me in the eyes. Don't eat, don't eat whatever it is. I will look you in the eye, and I will eat what I please. <laughs> Bakum Bakum says, Great Arch Priestess Cookie, they have saved me from the Rattlings. They wish to have an audience before the Duchess and help us in our great quest to save the folk above and defeat the horrific rat beasts. And Cookie brings her eye, her big bulbous eyes, and kind of scrunches up her thick face fishy lips and strokes the catfish sort of bits on the sides and regards you all. She pulls out a pair of glasses and puts them in front of her. Ah, these ones are truly horrific and disgustingly ugly, aren't they? An awful thing what the curse does to one's physical form. But we have feelings, you know. I was just born like this. I, I don't think I've really changed much. Terrible! Oh, terrible! Yes. To be born with such an awful curse to fingering the body and wasting the soul. But all will be well in time. It is true. The Duchess has sent us forth to help cure your awful condition, surface folk. 
and and Cookie, are are you the one responsible for helping people get uncursed? And how how are you going about doing that? She uh, uh her with her fishy lips, she smiles a disgusting grin, and this fish like tongue comes out, and she licks her lips. Ah, yes, wow. You see, the Duchess has shown us the treasures of her wondrous vault, and with the treasures of her wondrous vault, <coughs> and by invoking the ways of the old gods, yes, we may cure your curse, Landstrider. And would, and I point to the delirium that's in, in the fire, is that what came from the Duchess's vault? Yes, the wondrous treasure of the Duchess's secret reef garden. It is her vault, her sacred coral, her most phenomenal treasure. Oh, it is truly a blessing that it can break this horrible curse. But of course, it requires this intense knowledge that myself and possess to create. She holds up the vial. The slime! I must ask, Cookie, uh, many people in town have um, gloriously wandered into the sea and disappeared in a pleasant and wonderful manner. Is that your doing? Oh, indeed! What is... it is not... I cannot claim credit for it, but, you see, you service dwellers, you are cursed, right? Well, Absolutely. I keep hearing that. Your curse is to you. so awful that despite needing the water to nourish your bodies, drinking the flow of our wonderful stream makes you sick and ill. You cannot breathe the water any the waters anymore. You cannot survive underneath the waves, nor swim through its beautiful flows without flailing your limbs like a like a, a, a disgusting toddler. Uh, but the one here, and I point I point to Wrath. I'm like he's something of um, a, a magic worker, and um, we're interested in learning the ways of how you're helping people, so that we can share this knowledge and help cure more people um, with, um, I'm, I'm looking at you too. With the surface um, dwellers, they range far and wide. Our, my curiosity becomes the most of me. I am so fascinated by your ability to change and manipulate. Please, may we, may we take it using our cursed power into the depths of the cursed surface dwellers' villages and spread the jelly so that all will revert to the sea. It must be done very carefully, of course. You see, the surface dwellers have gone mad, and unlike you, who seem to be strangely lucid, most of them attack us on sight. But... Horrible. The Duchess has blessed a few of her great knights who, when we hear that one of the surface dwellers has become very ill, very ill by drinking the waters, we bring them our remedy. They use that remedy and it will help them lift the curse just long enough so they may hear the great summons of the Duchess herself. With the, re you... with the remedy and the words of the Duchess, she will lead you to her court, where you may be sworn as one of her vas vassals, and your curse broken under her great power. This sounds like berries to me. If, if we could perchance get um, a, a sample of this, um, this formula that you're using, then we could try it out and see for ourselves its great power. And the three of us could, could, could aid you. Absolutely, absolutely. I will bring this. She fetches in and she 
eats more of the the mushrooms and she starts casting she invokes some words and uh spits into some of the jelly and grabs another vial of this octarine glowing slime and mixes it together and she produces it and she says this this is the royal jelly of the duchess spread it all over your skin and you will hear her summons and she will induct you in as knights you will remember some of the horror of your curse but enough to continue the great work of the duchess such was what happened to me i recall dimly the horrible times when I wandered the shores under the curse, but the Duchess saw that I was one of faith. Faith that could be fought, channeled to the old gods. Faith that could be used to create more of this great jelly, to save more from their horrible curse. You could take this gift, spread it on your skin, and you will hear the Duchess's summons, and you will meet her in her court, and she will lift your curse. I, I take the vial, and I quickly pass it back to Wrath. As you re go to snatch the vial, she holds it cl cl closer to her, and she says, I will administer it to you if you wish. Um... Like I said, the three of us would like to, um, to, to, tr we would like a sample period. Um, it's actually, we understand that we are cursed, disgusting creatures, but we do have friends and family on the surface who are also cursed and disgusting. We may want to say goodbye to them before we forget about them completely and join your loving ranks. Um, if we could but take a sample to maybe bring to our loved ones so that we can bring them with us. It also you sounds like- You cannot take the sow to the surface. If it falls under the cursed light of the sun, it will lose its potency. You must be administered it here under my wise counsel. Now, uh, Cookie, from what I'm gathering, really, without your knowledge and the wiseness of the Duchess, this would not be possible, correct? I am but one of many of the Duchess's great servants. There is the Cardinal, but he has seen fit to go off on his own little adventures. He thinks that I... Our priorities should lie elsewhere. Blah. The Cardinal. And where did he venture off to? In pursuit of some strange lighthouse. I care not. Hmm. And of course, the champion, the Duchess's champion, guards her great palace with his loyal knights. Mm. Right, and, and that palace, where was that again? You, you, somebody mentioned it earlier. The, the, the Duchess keeps her palace at the salt coves along the coast. Once you have bathed in the slime and the jelly, you will hear the Duchess's call and be able to swim through the bay to the location of her cove. Now, it seems we have an opportunity for some mutual benefits. We, the cursed, seek to rid ourselves of it. However, we have an opportunity to work on the surface and maybe help with this infestation you have. We're, we're, we're the moles. Yes, indeed. That may be the plan the Duchess has for you, if you wish. If that is what you wish, to walk amongst the surface dwellers still. She, she grins wickedly, and she says to, um, Bakum Bakum, um, the, uh, uh, sorry. Blah. She says to um Bakum 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 
go find Chubgub, and they might see what we, what they will be once their curse is lifted. And Bakum Bakum swims off, uh, to uh, ostensibly to fetch this other being, and he swims away, and. The uh, and Cookie Cookie turns back and she says, "The Duchess, yes, the Duchess, moles, ah, terrible creatures, but yes, to be a shark amongst prey, the cursed ones, yes, the Duchess, the Duchess will like your acumen. She has desire for such servants. The cursed ones working for you." on the surface is something that you you can't normally have we, we hope to rid the sewers of the rats which is something that i'm sure your people can attest to if if we could join you as surface folk and use your uh formula to to rid the surface of their horrible curse and gain access to the Duchess, then we can all work together and it will be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. Uh, <laughs> have you attempted to apply the solution to, and I'm going to gesture to the caged rat there, these creatures? They are far too gone now. They themselves have embraced their awful, disgusting curse. The furry burrowers are our mortal enemies. They do worse than walk upon the land. They burrow through it in the horrible corruption of how good fish swim through water. That is not the way. Worse, they conspire. They are trying to steal the Duchess's coral, so they may pervert it and use it to propagate their foul spawn and work terribly sorcery in the name of their demonic god. Their demonic god? Yes! Pardon? They worship a terrible demonic god that they call the Rat God. And they speak of the great return of a mighty, mighty champion, their new king. We have demon worshiping rats now. We have we have demon worshiping rats to to that's that's a problem. They have a champion king. Yeah, that's uh that's that's a bit strange. Um and, and y'all said you're part of the, the old faith. Yes, the good old faith, the time of the ancient and primal gods long forgotten by the worshippers of the light. Do you happen to know uh, which direction we might look for the rat's um, hideout? They have many. I spend my time when I am not making the remedy for the per people of the surface, using my sight to discern where their awful nests are. Mm. Ah, they are returning. Um, and the doorway opens up down over here. And uh, laying down a plank comes Bakum Bakum, who puts a plank down uh, across. Uh, one of the other fish folk swims over, puts a plank down across the pit, and a very slight man walks out from the doorway. He's got a tattered robe drawn up, and you can and and, and he as he does so, um, the. Archpriestess Cookie says, Yes, yes. This is Chubgub. He walks up on the surface, a surface dweller. But Chubgub, show, show these cursed ones 
the gloriousness of your true form. And Chubgub drops the robes off that he's wearing. He's basically naked beyond a loincloth. He's emaciated, sickly. His skin is like a pale blue, white, purple, and his hair is falling out in chunks. And he's got warts and blisters all over. And he pauses for a moment. And as he does so, uh, and he, as he turns, you can see that there are fins on the backs of his arms and the backs of his calves and actually going up and, and back down his spine and gills behind his ears. And as he turns around, he looks down at you, lowers his eyes, and they turn into inky black blots and his face splits open revealing a fanged maw like that of an eel and he screeches and then the face seals back up and he looks like a relatively normal but sickly person and, and he gets bad like that on the surface so exciting i'm so i'm so excited and, for this. and uh cookie speaks yes it did Chubdub is a great and royal knight in the service of the Duchess. He is blessed to stride upon the land and take up his old and cursed form. The memories of his time as a surface dweller still haunt him to this day, but his noble service in the Duchess in bringing out the remedy to the others. He himself thought of his family as you did and now of course buckum buckum his son joins him right one so great big happy family down here aren't you indeed, indeed. I, i'm looking at i'm looking at wrath and i'm tapping on his head on my head yes he has gills <laughs> I you know I do I do it I do it. Wilhelm, this seems to be the something halfway between a f these creatures and a human. I'm not turning into one of those wrath, and I, I have a crazy idea, and it might be too crazy. Um, there's a rattling in a cage over there. We could we could fight our way out, take the serum, save the rat. Tell the rat that we came here to rescue him and to ask the rat to lead us back to his base. Then we know both bases. We destroy both leaders and we go back to the surface. Nobody's you turning me into a fish person. That's all that I'm saying. It's it's a wild <laughs> plan, but I don't want to become that. I, I, I'm, I'm happy without gills, Rath. I'm happy without gills. I know that your face is important to you. Um, this is something I've known since we first met. Uh, I will, I do not think we should be rash. Uh, this creature spoke of others like it that can create the serum. This is not the only place uh, that these fish people have. Um, we still need to find a way to find the Duchess. There is the Cardinal and this serum, this creature seems to be, uh, you know, a purveyor of the serum to the surface dwellers, this chub gub. However, we have gained favor, for we have rescued his son. Uh, we should use that to gain more information. I, I agree as long as we can, but if it comes to the moment where they are forcing us to drink the serum, my answer is no, Raph. My answer is no. No, you do not drink it. You rub it over your body. They <laughs> have explained that explicitly. No, the answer is still no. I, I don't want to rub the ointment all over my body. I don't want gills. Are you are you shy? Is it is it a shy thing? Do you Raph, have fair skin? Is Raph, it, what I, is the listen? <laughs> carry on. I'll let you do the talking. But if 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 it gets out of hand, we have gathered information. Information has been gathered on this day. We know the names of their commanding officers. We know a general location of the Duchess. And I'm looking at that rattling over there. The only piece of the puzzle that we don't yet have is where the rattlings are hiding. That's the only piece that we don't have. We have leads that we can follow. I'll leave it up to you to decide what happens next, but I am not rubbing that on my skin. Uh, 
Rudy, do you, you want an eel face? Oh, uh, uh, Rath and Rudy, you, you continue to, to I'll give you a conference. We're just kind of like just making small talk knowing, in between. Knowing they're talking and I'm just like, beautiful place that you have here. Of course, such noble work that you've been doing. Yes. Are you ready to rub the lotion on your skin? <laughs> As soon as as soon as Wrath switches to Rudy, I start talking and I'm just like, Cookie, can you tell me a little bit more about how you came to be in this place? You came from from Drakenheim. Tell me about that that long journey you took in great detail. Oh no. Like, Rath. R- um make a persuasion check, Wilhelm. Sorry, what did you get? Sorry, 24. Okay. She says, Oh, no, I do not come from the city of Drakenheim. I have more humble origins. I grew up in Ashaffen, along with most of the rest of us. But then the Duchess came and broke our terrible curse. And now all the good people of Ashaffen live in the, as loyal subjects of the Duchess. Ah, because the Duchess, she's near Ashafen, right? Not far from there. Amazing. So you you've known her for quite a while. I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on while those two have a conversation, but yeah. Rudy, um Wilhelm is resilient to the rubbing of the lotion, as am I. Uh, we may we have learned much, but I do not think we have learned everything we have about these people. Uh, we must delay the removal of the curse and learn more about the rattling infestation and where are the others. What do you think? I think I'm not putting anything on my skin that's going to turn me into no fish folk. I mean, you just tell me I'm I'm ready to fillet some fish anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce has been in my thoughts this whole time. His hunger is uh, insatiable. Uh, he is also uh, looking forward to a nice snack. Um, I am willing to attempt to learn more about this infestation. However, if we do need to draw blood, uh, as, as as I have been this whole time, I am ready. I think we just need to make sure that if something happens here, that they can't continue this anywhere else. I'm worried that if we don't keep this contained, they're just going to keep doing what they're doing. But at least we know what the source is of this crazy water swimming out into the ocean. Well, cursed it- land walkers, do you wish for me to rub the great royal jelly the slime into your flesh you may convalesce here while it takes its effects i need must a distraction deny priestess cookie we are not ready to remove the curse we have much to do as surface dwellers you of all people must understand there is a space between our worlds that we must fill before we are ready to join you no i you are mistaken, cursed one. The madness still grips you. You cannot leave this place until you have been thoroughly rubbed with the jelly. <laughs> Wilhelm, you are having a moment. You have the ability to create some sort of noise or distraction, and, and we can say that it's the rattlings coming, and it will it will draw their attention away from us, giving us the chance to surprise them. In Do you your have any- madness. You may go back up to the surface and tell the others, mad ones, that we are here and they will come and destroy us. You must stay here until you hear the Duchess's summons. If you wish to contemplate your madness for some time, we have a nice accommodation for you. And she points over at the cage with the rattling in it. You know, you know, Cookie... Um, um rule number 41 it's best not to take chances so i agree with you and um, i i nod at you too uh, i i want to try uh i want to send bruce off on a little uh 
flying moment. Okay. Um, and I want to have him kind of, kind of go down one of the hallways, and it says that if whenever I want, if I want to cast a spell, uh, with the range of touch, I can have Bruce, um, do that spell. So can I have him, uh, touch like one of these side? Uh, actually. Can we go the other way? Okay. And I want him to do like a light to come from. I want him to cast the light cantrip on uh, on something in this in this room here, so it just suddenly brightly lights up in the room. Okay. Um, well, in this room uh, over here, which is up over this way, as Bruce comes into it, are you seeing through Bruce's senses? Uh, no, I'm just okay. sending him on a mission. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you send Bruce over, over there and have the light spell originate from o over here, um, the, um, yeah. Um, when, would you like to do that right now or is there, or just, to, I just want to, if you do that, that might, it's going to make things happen. So I want to check in with Wrath and Rudy. <laughs> So that they can get it, figure out what they want to do. Um, if if Raph is doing that, I'm gonna. Uh, I assume that I'm standing near Cookie for all of this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where are we in the room? I, I, I guess I, I I just recently brought myself in. Yeah. So I'm gonna basically say that like the group of you are are over here now, and um, we'll put. Uh, <clears throat> shuffle 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 <laughs> yeah some of the fish folk have kind of meandered about here uh but uh we'll put bock and bock over here with chub gub uh and uh, there's another fish fish folk and cookie are all together here and you're you're chatting with them in, in this sort of area here so yeah that that's the situation that you're in right now uh, Wilhelm's hand is resting on the hilt of his sword and he is waiting for Wrath's distraction to hopefully cause enough of a distraction that he can attack Cookie and surprise them all with that attack but he um he's waiting for the moment Ooh, if they're if they're like if we're all just kind of chill in here can I do the same thing I want to do it over by where that uh that hole was Doug uh, sorry, the the hole. Yeah, like where uh, where Chub Gub came through. Okay, yeah, the the door there is closed though. Um, so I want him to touch. The, I want Bruce to go over and touch the door and put okay. the light cantrip on it. Uh, that, so that you'll my... you'll only be able to do one area before the 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 fish folk respond to that. Mm -hmm. That's that's where you want my... where you want it to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Rudy, is there anything else that you want to get ready for? Again, I know where my axes are. They're kind of just behind, just looking cash, okay. ready to go. Okay. Um, so here's so the cat flutters over, and I'm gonna have you make a stealth check because the cat is quite noticeable and is a strange creature here. So I'm gonna have you make a stealth check for Bruce. Okay. Otherwise, some of the fish folk might see the cat do this. Can I help by? Um... I don't know. Like, there's, no. There's, uh, um, unless you can cause some kind of distraction so that Bruce can get an, uh, an opening. Have you seen my sword? It glows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Isn't and, it? And, uh, so, Wilhelm, if you, uh, g give me a deception check yourself. <laughs> I'm not a very good liar, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, 17. Okay. Wrath, you can make the stealth check for Bruce with advantage. Um, that's going to be a 14 for, uh, for old Brucey. Okay. As Bruce heads, heads over, one of the, the fish folk, uh, this fish folk over here, hops up and it says, and you hear her going, Mmm, delicious cat! <laughs> and it starts following Bruce. 
and then Bruce just Here, kind kitty, of like kitty, kitty, kitty. stops at the door and just and he's and he just pauses it and then uh that's when the the light cantrip activates okay the uh the the cantrip activates and the 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 fish folk over here says oh glowing kitty strange tasty and and is like and the the fish folk start it uh, says hey anyone like eating cat anyone eaten cat recently and some of the fish and some of the fish folk go oh and so, uh, several of them start gathering over it's like there's a cat down here and some of the the fish folk begin swimming over towards where bruce is uh hoping maybe to get a morsel of of the cat and i'm just like houdini you stay near me all right <laughs> yeah <laughs> houdini kind of cl- flutters into rudy i think bruce is licking his lips now at this point he's getting really excited <laughs> so pumped. i look at cookie and i point towards where bruce and the glow is happening and i say what's that glow happening over there that's really strange do you see that make a deception check It's a 13. Cookie responds. Mmm, glowing bit of food. Delicious. Bring some for me. But Cookie keeps looking at you, Wilhelm. <clears throat> the fish folk are closing in, and one of them is going to jump down the pit and attack Bruce. Try to I, eat him. Uh, are we going? Roll for I mean, it's just it's just Brucey. He he is loving the idea of uh, his food coming to him. <laughs> he just have to go hunting. Ooh. Oh, baby! I look at Wilhelm and I'm like, "So are we chopping our way out?" <laughs> this is as good as it's gonna get. I guess. <laughs> Okay, Wilhelm, what do you got? 22. Ooh, okay. Rudy? X. Ooh. <laughs> that Sorry, dice rolls Rudy. Tonight. Wrath? Uh, 18. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. So the fish folk are about to stab Bruce and eat him. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. Um, and will and pinging this off, Wilhelm, you know now is your chance to act. You have um, what you do is not going to surprise Cookie at this point because she's looking right at you, and her insight check is high enough that she's going to be like she beat your your deception check. So if you decide to attack now, it's going to be she'll she'll know that it's happening. But you will be acting before her. What are you going to do? So as soon as I'm like, look at that glow over there, and she doesn't take her eyes off of me, I just look at Rudy and kind of shrug and then run at her. I just run at Cookie (laughs) with my sword that I've pulled out that's glowing. And as I'm running past Wrath and Rudy, I yell, get the formula, let's get out of here. All right, so I run up, and I'm going to attack her with my sword. All right, so attack with the sword. Ooh, uh, that's going to be a 26 to hit. My dice are doing well for now. That was a 19 plus 7. Um, and I'm going to get my uh, my sneak attack because there's no other enemy within five feet of me. Okay. I was one away from a crit. All right, let's see. Uh, that's going to be 24 damage. Wow. Okay. So you rush forward and stab Cookie. <laughs> and she cries out, ah! And as she does so, as your sword collides with her, all of a sudden, there's this slight twitching, zapping noise, and then a thunderous boom emanates from her body as her Wrath of the Storm power is activated with a reaction. You can make a a dexterity saving throw. 
Just Wilhelm? Just Wilhelm. Okay. He's dexterous. super dexterous. Throw? Super dexterous. Yeah. Dexterous. Ooh. I get a 15. Okay, that is actually enough to succeed. So you take half damage from it, uh, which is going to be uh, half of 10, so five points of thunder damage. Um, and you get pushed back 10 feet. So I, I run up, stab my blade <laughs> yeah, into her, and, and like with an a electric deafening, shock, boom! And it sends me back. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I see you run past me and then get launched back the other way. This there's, is like a there's... tennis match. We're just watching. <laughs> there's... As I'm running, I yell, well, home surprise, and I stab, and then there's just a big boom, and I go flying back past you guys and land on my butt and then stand back up. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to do with your turn? Um, I'm actually, so with that, with being pushed 10 feet back, I pull out my crossbow as I kind of collect myself, and I'm going to fire that at her okay. as well. Okay, go for it. Do you accept a 12? No, that is a miss. I imagine as you go flying back, you actually try to fire the crossbow as you do, and the shot goes wide. Yeah, it still looks epic, but yeah. not, a, not the best shot. Cookie, uh, crumbling, Cookie, crumbling before your stab, she cries out, Aah! and as she does so, she she leaps up and dives into the water, waving her, her staff and her hands over, over her head, and as she does so, the, the water in the entire room begins to gurgle and burble, because she's going to cast control water and flood oh, no. the entire room. Ah! <laughs> So when you, uh, uh, when I cast control water, I get to choose a 100 foot cube and raise the water level by 20 feet. And this room is only 10 feet high. <laughs> so the whole room's flooded. <laughs> well, it's it's a, a hundred foot cube. Like, is that like a hundred feet on either 100 side? 100 by 100 by 100. Oh. Yeah, you uh, any freestanding water inside an area you choose it as a cube up to 100 feet on a side. And I choose the flood effect, causing the water to rise by as much as 20 feet. Uh-oh. So we're all underwater now. You are and, all uh... underwater now. Old dread, boys! <laughs> <laughs> I will give you all a constitution saving throw uh, to see if you're able to grab a uh, breath before the water goes. Oh, what is that? Wilhelm's Ooh. having a bad time. 19. Okay, so the two of you, Will, uh, uh, Wrath and Rudy, you are able to hold, gr get a breath in time. So you can hold your breath f for a number of minutes equal to one plus your con mod. Wilhelm, what did you get? I got a three. So you are not. You will run out of breath in a number of rounds equal to one plus your constitution modifier. That will be two. That will be two rounds, everybody. <laughs> well, how much is it if we saved? Sorry? Uh, a number of minutes equal to one plus your constitution modifier. But if you oh. didn't get a breath, you've got rounds. One plus con. Mm. So four? Four minutes? I got four minutes. Oh, the rattling oh, made their save, though. Ah! <laughs> the rattling grabs a big breath. You know, like when the big bad wolf is like, yeah. I'll have it, I'll pop it. I'm like... <laughs> uh, and you guys can roll for, your roll for your familiars as well. Uh, uh, I imagine no Wilhelm was so shocked by the explosion that as the water starts to rise, he just didn't even see it coming. You were still you were still talking, <laughs> and so it was all coming out. Uh, a 16. 14. Okay. Bo they're both okay. Oh. Who do you think? I mean, actually, do, do, do familiars need food or water or air? I don't know, and right now I don't care. Right now, they'll... <laughs> <laughs> right now, though, we'll keep keep going. Uh, so that's Cookie's turn. So we go to Wrath. Uh, Wrath, you're underwater now. This is fun. Uh, this is neat. Uh, seeing this all kind of happen, uh, the water's still illuminated, right? Like, are we blind underwater? It, what's the kind um, of the vision? The underwater? delirium is glowing, and the the light sources have all been uh, whatever the are in these torches. It's not fire. 
that is causing the illumination. Hmm. Whatever's inside these things, that it, these lanterns, it's not fire. And Bruce is also glowing with a light as well. So there's there's enough light down here. Classic. Bruce. Also, we have dark vision. Yeah, I'm not worried. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna throw uh, a a hex on uh, our good friend Cookie. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna let some eldritch blasts at him. All right, go for it. So. Uh, the first one, I get a 18. That's a hit. Uh, for uh, 12 damage. Okay. I succeed my concentration check. <laughs> oh, what uh, is, for hex, is it that you choose something? Yeah, but it's oh, not yeah. saving throws. Oh, it's not saving throws. Okay. Yeah. Um. And then I get a 12 to hit. That's a miss, I'm afraid. Okay, so the second one uh, doesn't quite make it through. Uh, but I will pick for his um, ability. We're going to choose strength. Okay. All right, Bacham Bacham's turn. Bacham swims forward towards Rudy um, and uh, pulls out um, his, uh, uh, his spear and goes to uh, Spear Rudy, getting a one and a two to hit <laughs> on the dice. So he tries to stab you, and he's like, Rah! just j it'll be so much easier if you just rub the goo on your skin. <laughs> um, I get and... duck on the water. <laughs> um, and then with that. Um, Chubgub, um, Chubgub, uh, swims forth now in his very horrific form, uh, up towards Wilhelm, uh, and, uh, as he does so, he goes to grab Wilhelm, uh, actually missing with the attack, <laughs> uh, so tries to grab Wilhelm, uh, and, and, uh, hold him down, uh, but doesn't, uh, make the, the hit. Uh, the I'm a slippery fellow. Uh, yeah, well, they're slippery fish. Um, so the slippery fish begin swimming around. Um, and they swim up. These fish swim over to the cat, and these fish swim over this way. Um, and so I think I'm gonna get uh two on Rudy, two on Wrath, and one on Wilhelm. Uh, Rudy, uh, against you, I get, uh, so they come up with their spears, swimming through the water to skewer you like skilled hunters. Um, and the, uh, the first result, uh, for the, their spears is a 14 and a 13. Oh. Uh, against Wrath, I get a 7 and a 19. 19 hits. And against Wilhelm, I get a 12. That's a miss. Uh, Wrath, you're going to take um, seven points of piercing damage. Ow! And I'm going to attack with three against Bruce. Wow, <laughs> getting a four and a five. And His AC is uh, 12. And 11. They don't spear the cat. <laughs> they don't <laughs> spear the swimming cat. <laughs> Parts of his body just shifting underwater, so like the spear's almost hitting, but it just doesn't quite make... Uh, like underwater cat acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Bruce hate water? Is this like this is the worst case scenario for him? Yeah, Bruce is very unhappy. Yeah, he wants to be dry and fed. Rudy, it is your turn. Okay, so um you know what? Rudy is just thinking that she wants this water down. Um, so I'm actually gonna move away okay towards cookie and take some opportunity attacks all right um so be, bear in mind that you are on underwater and you are swimming how far can i swim uh you can swim uh half your when when you're swimming your swi swim speed is basically half your land speed ah okay um and you do have disadvantage um, uh, on an attack roll unless that weapon is a dagger, javelin, short sword, spear, or trident. 
So you're going to... Rapiers per- don't make the list? Yeah. Yeah, they do not make the list. What does not Rapiers don't make the list. So two opportunity attacks against you, Rudy? Um, I'm actually going to rethink that because... <laughs> um... <laughs> Now, can I throw a hand axe underwater? How does that work? Can you throw a hand axe underwater? Um, a ranged weapon attack automatically misses a target beyond the weapon's normal range, but even within normal range, it is done with disadvantage. Mm, so yeah. whatever the range on the hand axe is, uh, if it if it's it has to be within its short range. I mean, it is within short range, but you said it's a disadvantage, right? Yeah, the attacks would be made a disadvantage. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Um, You're gonna throw the axes at her. <laughs> I'm gonna try to throw hand axes at her. Okay, go for it. Oh, and again, how do, would the help action do anything with Houdini in this? Uh, if Houdini can get over there, um, like Houdini has no speed down here because houdini's land speed is like 10 feet you have to you have to yeah um yeah (laughs) okay um so i guess i'll just stay with me then um and we'll go with disadvantage why not all All right right. we're gonna hand axes um 11 (laughs) that's a miss another (laughs) oh no no it works (laughs) <laughs> we don't fight well underwater. I only have two hand axes, so um You know what? I will take my I guess offhand two weapon fighting with okay. my battle axe against Buckum Buckum. Oh no <laughs> And um Houdini is technically with me, so would that help? Yep. Okay, cool, cool. So it's just not disadvantaged. That's a 16. <laughs> uh, that is a hit. I'm like throwing axes underwater and they're like... <sighs> and they just slow down and then they just yeah. like float like, to the bottom. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and so, oh yes. You curse um, underwater. <laughs> that's um, 13 damage. Okay. Bakum Bakum gets whacked for 13 damage. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so it's the end of the round, and you are all still underwater. Yeah. You can yep. see the flex of delirium floating in the air. I would like you to all make me a constitution saving throw. No, no. Seventeen. Seventeen of good con. Uh twelve. Wilhelm? Seventeen as well. Okay. You all succeed. Okay. Wilhelm, top of the round. So this is round one of my two rounds that I can hold my breath for, right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> so what happens? Do we do we know do I know what happens when a creature starts to drown? Yeah, uh, do I do I get to make death saving throws or do I just die? Like, what's what happens if I drown? You take exhaustion. What's that? Uh, okay, that when you run out of breath, uh, at the start of the, after you run out of breath, at the start of the turn, you run after breath, you immediately drop to zero hit points and are dying, and you can't regain hit points until you can breathe again. At, at the start of like, so at the start of next round. So this turn you're fine. Next turn you're fine. Turn three, start of your turn, immediately go to zero. Okay, guys, we have a few rounds to, to clear to clear a path, okay? Um, in that case, and you said rapiers do not work underwater as their disadvantage, but the, daggers do? Okay, so uh, to a quick recap, um, a ranged weapon attack has disadvantage unless it's a crossbow, net, or a thrown weapon like a javelin, such as a spear, trident, or dart. Uh, a weapon attack with a dagger... Mele- a melee weapon attack with a dagger, javelin, sword, sword, spear, or trident does not have disadvantage. Oh. Wilhelm uh, puts his rapier in his sheath and pulls out his dagger and puts it between his teeth. 
and swims at the fish folk in front of him, grabbing him and trying to stab his jugular with the dagger. Okay. Uh, that's a 20 to hit. It's a hit. You can apply your sneak attack if you want to. I'm going to save my sneak attack for a moment. Okay. That's going to be eight damage. Okay, that leaves him bloodied. Now what? I then um, kind of look out past him, and I'm going to attempt to... So you said crossbows could shoot fine, right? Yeah. I'm going to shoot at Cookie with my crossbow. Okay. Cookie. I got a 24 to hit. That's a hit. And now, now I'm going to use my sneak attack. Uh, what is giving you sneak attack? The oh, yeah, time? you're right. Damn, I should have used it for the other one. <laughs> Do you want oh, that to? Was... You, you can apply it to the other one, though. Okay, yeah, sorry. I would like to apply it to the other one. Okay. Uh, that's going to be 14 more damage on that. That will actually kill him. Cool. And then, so I, I grab him, stab my dagger into his jugular, kind of push off his body to get up higher and get range on my crossbow, and then I shoot it at yeah. Cookie. And crossbow expert helps you ignore the disadvantage. Yeah. Yep. And that's going to be... You did hit. You got a 24. Yeah. So th that's going to be uh, 8 damage on Cookie. And I get a 9 on my constitution saving throw for concentration. Wonderful. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah. Does that mean the water goes down? The water goes down. <laughs> Cookie's concentration is broken. Yes, well. Oh, I I I gasp for air. Yeah, there's like a. <gasps> um. And okay, anything else, Wilhelm? Uh, th that's going to be it for me. I think that was my action and bonus action. And if I move, I'm going to provoke opportunity attacks, because uh, I only get to move away from a person I attack. I Correct. think with my yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, then Cookie says, Very well, interlopers, surface dwellers, cursed and ugly beings. If you will not drown, you will die in the storm. And she casts Destructive Wave. So that is going to affect all of you, because you're all within 30 feet of Cookie. Uh-oh. Um, and so the spell itself... Uh, I believe I need a constitution saving throw uh, from each of you. Uh, yeah. Yep. Constitution saving throw. Ooh. Oh, yes. What do we 25. got? 25. 25? 17. Oh, wow. Six. So, <laughs> Wrath fails. And Wrath, you're going to... So, each of you that... Uh, uh, so, you all still take 5d6 thunder and 5d6 necrotic damage so uh the total of that is going to be uh, a grand total as the the wave of thunderous energy cracks out forward so it's going to be a total of 36 damage of between the two types half of which is necro uh but wrath your resistance to necrotic damage okay yeah. so uh i rolled 20 for the necrotic damage and 15 for the thunder so you you end up taking 25 I'll take 25 25 yeah. yeah and then we take half and then you take half overall of the total of 35 so that'd be am i able to uncanny dodge a spell no no because <laughs> it's got to be an attack but okay. uh and wrath you are knocked prone as well ow so and, sorry how much did we take uh it would be 17 i was like <laughs> 17 Okay. Yeah, I throw my uh Oh, come on. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Uh and with that, Cookie is going to move over here. And she says, "They 
are truly divine and cursed. Kill them if you must, but if we can capture them, they will make good servants when their madness is lifted. Uh, what's my con check? Uh, what's my concentration check for that? It's a, it, Would it be a 10 and a 15? Uh, so it would be 12 to make the that. Uh, I Hex is gone. Sorry, dude. That's okay. It is your turn. Hex is... Okay. Um, after taking this newly formed, I, I I I land on the ground. I slip. I slip on some fish g- goo. <laughs> it's it's like that wet me- stone, and uh, I wasn't prepared to be uh, attacked by thunder and necrotic damage. Um, so I uh, I look up at at cookie and uh i think it's time that bruce ate so <laughs> uh i'm going i bruce is going to start his like eyes start to flicker and he and he kind of starts to like hiss and, and then it becomes like almost like a static and then you start to see like waves and 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 ripples in the air and then i cast hunger of hadar <laughs> there um, it is again <laughs> and this is I, i'm gonna try to get uh i want to cast it so it hits these th- bakum bakum the uh the chub lub yeah that's the size of it um can i, I get cookie the in them it. yeah to get it's like to get that, yeah, uh, one over, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Bakum Bakum doesn't need to be in it. Okay, or there, that works. Yep that that gets that gets everybody. I'll give Bakum Bakum. Uh, uh, he'll be able to get out of it pretty easily. But yeah, that gets them all in it. And so then, the uh... the erupting cat door bursts <laughs> forth with the sickly cat eyes floating in the air. Tongues lapping in a soft hissing noise, <laughs> and and Bruce is just smiling in the corner. Uh, okay, and there's voices calling out to the the fish people around him. Come here, come to me. <laughs> oh God, it's so horrible. <laughs> 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 It's like it's like when you open a can of tuna around a group of cats and you just hear all that mewing noise that like the group of cats make. <laughs> this like Aww. like meow, meow, meow. yeah, like that d- discordant mew mewling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Bakum Bakum's turn. Uh he takes the damage right away for being in it, right? Uh yeah, 2d6 cold damage. Okay. Okay, so that is uh, roll it for me. Uh, six. Okay. Uh, he goes. Oh, I don't want to be eaten by a cat. And he uh, he steps out of it uh, over to uh, um, and he's gonna try to smash Rudy, uh, getting a twenty-two to hit. Surprisingly, shield. Okay. Uh, uh, Chub Gub. Is also in it. Uh, roll the damage for Chub Gub. Uh, six again. Uh, he can't quite get out of it. Actually, he's still on the edge of the effect, but there's that building here, so he can't like walk into that building. So he's gonna move over here, uh, and he's gonna stab at Wilhelm, uh, getting a fourteen and a natural one. Negative. I um I deflected. I parry with my rapier. And so he stays in it, so another 2d6 damage at the end, I believe? Uh, at the, um... At, at su- it succeeds on a dex saving throw. I get a natural one. <laughs> so he takes another 7 damage. Acid damage. Okay. As uh, Bruce's tongues from another world lick his, uh, his back. Okay, the fish folk. There is one in the effect, so roll, give me the damage for the, the one that is in it. Uh, seven damage. 
Okay. Um, now, several of the fish folk are going to ignore the cat and rush away from it because it's terrifying. Um, and they're going to try to clamor over and away from this terror uh, that is Bruce. So they spend all their actions dashing away and diving in and repositioning themselves. Um, another two fish folk that will clamor in from before. These are the guards from up, 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 up above so that are coming to join the battle. Uh, so there's a few more reinforcements running in. And uh, it looks like it's going to be one fish folk, on, uh, two fish folk on Rudy, and one on Wilhelm, one on Wrath. Uh, Rudy, the highest I get is a 14 to hit. Oh. Wrath, I get a 12. Oh. And Wilhelm, I so get close. an 11. I'm good. Yeah. I barely dodge it. We are all standing back to back, deflecting blades. Yeah, and you guys are basically, right now, you are surrounded with these fish folk. They're swarming around you like a school of swarming fish, trying to devour you and stabbing you with their spears. You're, you're completely surrounded by them and more are coming in. And yet there's this portal to Bruce's alternate dimension suckling in and trying to nab the fish as it comes. This would be a horrifying... This, I, I think you'd be damaged after after witnessing what's happening right now. <laughs> oh, my friends, I am not doing too well. Rudy, it's your turn. None of us are, Wrath. I'm doing all right, and I take my axes though, and I just start <laughs> chopping off as many heads as I can. So I go for Bakum Bakum, uh, and Houdini is with me underneath me so uh we're gonna take that as woo uh 26 to hit oh yeah that's a big time hit uh seven damage <laughs> fun okay um another hit 20 to hit also a hit eight damage oh last one 23 to hit. Four, ooh, 13 damage. So uh, with the third axe blow, Bakum Bakum is slain. What happens to him? Um, I start by chopping off a fin. Then I chop off another fin. And then I come in with both. And the head uh. is gone. And I say, Bruce, it's time for dinner, hun. And out of the, out of the, the swarming <laughs> mist, you hear just the soft sound of fish heads fish heads roly poly fish heads fish heads no. fish heads eat them up yum <laughs> i took a fish head out to see a movie <laughs> just the dissonant sound of the hunger of, of the hunger of bruce <laughs> <laughs> And I turn, and as this is happening, I cut off the head and I say, Who's next, you fillets? <laughs> and I get ready. Okay, Wilhelm, it is your turn. Anybody order skewered fish? And I take my rapier and I stab it into the, um, the, the fish folk in front of me, uh, just up from me. Okay. Uh, you you're going to stab this one, or are you going to stab Chub Gub? Uh, I'm going to go with the, the, the fish that, yeah, not Chub Gub. Okay, yeah. go for it. Has Chub Gub been hit? Yes. Okay. Took damage from the Hunger of Hadar. I got a 24 to hit. <laughs> that is a hit. And, um,. I'm actually going to hold off on my sneak attack on that one. Okay. Damage? I do 10 damage. That leaves him bloodied. Uh, and then I'm going to actually uh, shoot at Chubgup. Okay. 21. Also a hit. And this one I'm going to use my sneak attack on. Okay. Doing 20 damage. 
Uh, I think you level your crossbow at, uh, he has exactly 20 hit points remaining. So what happens to Chub Gun? So I, I'm, I'm kind of parrying and fending off all these fish attacking me from various directions. And I skewer one, uh, not enough to kill him, but through the shoulder. And then as I'm holding my hand out, skewering him, I pull out my crossbow and point it in the other direction and fire it straight into Chub Gub's mouth. Oh. And he falls backwards into the uh, hunger of Bruce and gets absorbed into it. Yeah, and just hearing yum 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 yum. With that, I'm actually going to uh, now that I've attacked both. There's still a fish folk I think who's in base contact with me, but I'm going to um, move. Okay. And maybe take that opportunity attack. Uh, yeah, there is one that you didn't attack base with you where are you going to move to you want to clamber up on the roof actually yeah can i clamber up on the roof of this hut yeah yeah of course give me an acrobatics check Um, well, that's that's going to be a 28. Okay, you flip up, and the, I get a 5 on the opportunity attack. So the fish folk takes a quick swing at you with the spear, and it, and it actually just nips the side of the rattling hide tent as you leap up on top of the, uh, the construction. Uh, how tall is the hunger of Bruce? Like, can I see it over it at all now? Um, you, it, it, the, now, the, this hut is only five feet high so you're actually like huddled down like you're almost okay. hitting the ceiling where you are and the, right. the the hunger of bruce would fill all the way to the top as well fair enough yeah it's insatiable okay anything else wilhelm uh that is it for me okay Cookie uh, takes damage from the hunger of Hadar. The hunger of Bruce. The hunger of Bruce. Oh, 12 damage. Oh. Max damage. Max oh. damage. Okay. Um, <laughs> with, it gets uh, a really good lick in. It's just a... Like, right from toes to fish face. So, the only one that Cookie can see is Wilhelm. So, Cookie is going to conjure up a spiritual weapon which is going to take the shape of a awful tentacle. Um, and... Enough with the tentacles. <laughs> um, and the spiritual weapon will come uh, to attack Wilhelm, uh, getting a 24 to hit. I can't do much against that. Uh, the spiritual weapon then will deal a total of uh, 15 points of force damage. Uh, I'm going to um, uncanny dodge that. Okay. And then um Cookie is going uh to um do I have okay, what do I have for, for Cookie? Uh Cookie is going to cast Toll the Dead on you, Wilhelm. Make a wisdom saving throw. Do it. Oh man. You can do it. Get my nice D twelves out. I I got it too. Oh, 2d12 damage. I get a 12 and a 1 for 13 points of damage. Oh. Wilhelm collapses on top of the tent. Uh, roll a d6. Or actually, roll a d8, sorry. I got a 5. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So Wilhelm rolls off down this side of the tent, and uh, and that's the end of your turn, Wilhelm. <laughs> well, that's where you started. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wrath, it is your turn. Um, is the hunger of Hadar uh, licking at... Bruce's... You know, his hunger is uh, it, 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 neutral. It, it would lick at Wilhelm, so you might uh, want to dismiss so, it. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's going to turn off for sure. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm going to...
Let me think. I'm going to give uh, Wilhelm a, a big old glug of, uh, of a potion of healing in brackets greater. <laughs> 20 points for Wilhelm. 20 points to House Wilhelm. And, and, and I see him kind of fall down, and one of the tentacles starts to try to lick him, and I have to, like, stop it, and it kind of starts to pick him up, and I <laughs> grab him, and I just jam the, the healing potion, and I stop playing around. We have to kill these fish. Uh, on guard! I'm... Wh where are we? That's 20 and, points uh, back for Wilhelm. I, I, and then I stand perfectly still. I am right as rain. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Okay, well, uh, in that case, um, this is going to happen now. Uh, the fish. Anything else, Wrath? Sorry? Before nope, you're... Okay. Nope, that's all me. Well, uh, you're going to get gurgle ganged up on <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> as the fish rush onto the platform <laughs> the mcgurgle gang <laughs> ever play world of warcraft it's like that oh, oh no um yeah, so I think five fish folk are going to attack you. Oh, cool, 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 cool. I get a natural one, a 12, a 19, an 18, and a 7. Two, two hits. All right. So they surround you, and as one, they almost like form like a fish phalanx. <laughs> <laughs> the fish phalanx surrounds you. They put their shields up, and they all jam at the same time. <laughs> and that's gonna be it. Uh, it's actually only gonna be uh, uh, six points of damage, though. Ow! Oh, it's like like little sharpened spears, and 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 the first few are like ow, ow, and then one like gets under my rib, and it gets and it just makes purchase. And as I get away from it, the other one gets me, and ah! and I'm I start to kind of like collapse as I'm getting stabbed by a bunch of. People. Two are gonna stab Rudy. Uh, I get a ten and a six, and then two are gonna stab the prone Wilhelm, uh, getting a fourteen and a seventeen to hit. The seventeen hits for five damage. My friends, we have to get out of here. I, I, I have a way, but I do. I can only bring one of you. And take Rudy. No, take Will. I will take Bruce if I have to. One of you must pick. <laughs> Rudy, it is your turn. And I say, take Wilhelm! And I go out with the axes uh, against the injured one to my... What is it? North? Yep. East? Uh, for a 19. It's a hit. Uh, eight damage. It is slain! I turn around and do the one ar around the back of me for, uh, to hit, uh, 23 for 11 damage. Alrighty, it is bloodied. Hit it again for... Oh, wait, that 13. one was wounded before. I actually killed it. Boom. Alright, and then the one diagonal to the bottom near Wilhelm, um... 13 to hit? Uh, that is... Uh, that is a hit, yeah. Yep. And that is 8 damage. That leaves it bloodied. And I turn around and I say, Get him out of here, I can handle these, these walking fish fillets. Alrighty. Wilhelm, it is your turn. Wilhelm's not going down without a fight, and, um... He is going to uh, stab, not at the one that, that Rudy just injured. Or actually, yeah, he will stab at the one that Rudy just injured. So he pulls out his sword, and he's like, we'll fight to the end, friends, together. And he uh, stabs at the fish in front of him. Uh, getting a 12 to hit. Uh, that is a hit. Take it. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use sneak attack, because why not? 
That's the spirit. Uh, that's going to be 18 damage. That destroys him. And then I'm going to fire my crossbow at um, the one beside me. Nice. Getting a 20 to hit for 8 damage. Nice. That leaves him bloodied. Amazing. Anything else, Wilhelm? No, I stand back to back with my friends and prepare for possible death. Alrighty. It is Cookie's turn. Uh, Cookie stand, stands up over here. The spiritual weapon sings forward towards uh, and it comes down to skewer wrath. Ah! Uh, only getting a five to hit. And Ugh! Cookie Cast Toll the Dead against Wilhelm once again. Uh, this time I rolled a 17. Oh, then in that case, you don't take the 21 points of damage I rolled on those two D D D D D D12s. <laughs> Just stop. Just stop. What was, and, uh... and Cookie cries out, they are weakening! Get them! We will to they will be saved from their madness and their curse! Get them! Get them! Somebody shut her mouth. <laughs> okay. Uh, that leaves us over at Wrath. Uh, feeling the end is, is approaching. Um... I I grab onto uh Wilhelm and I'm going to use Dimension Door the spell scroll I found in the in the oh in the caves and I and I through space and time we both rip through the world and uh we're going to go Hmm. And, and before I do so, I, I, Rudy, I, I trust you can escape, and uh, I'm gonna Don't pull leave us. Leave her behind. Just on the other side of the, uh, of the encampment, of like, uh, at like the beginning of this. Um... Uh, like up here. Mm hmm. Okay. On the other side of the. Uh... Okay. Bamf. The two of you appear back up at the encampment. She is capable. She will be fine. Um, She'll need our help. Remove. All righty. And well, I and I and I'm licking my wounds. Uh, all these like, I definitely think I'm infected with something. I definitely have this hungry look in my eye. Like, <laughs> I've been here before. Bring it on. <laughs> Fish fries. Uh, the the fish are gonna move to surround Rudy as oh. completely and totally as they pop. Yeah, actually, they can get a full envelopment completely around. Yes. Do it. <laughs> they totally surround you, Rudy, and you are gonna be attacked eight times. It's all right. <laughs> uh, okay, so I get a ten, a six, an eleven, and a sixteen to hit. Nope. Uh, and a 19, a tw two 19s, a 10, and 11 to hit. You know what? I'll take I'll take the two hits. Okay. <laughs> it. Uh, that's going to be a total of eight points of damage from the two hits. They completely surround you. <laughs> You're like I got hit twice, and I'm just like ready to eat she is them. fine she is fine <laughs> it's your turn rudy hmm do i run away or fight um are we running away is, is that the thing <laughs> you can you can catch the glimmer of the shining light of where wilhelm and wrath have appeared way up here looks like they might be turning to run <laughs> okay um then i <laughs> I sh sh cuz can can I go through them? Is that a well, I have to move them first, don't I? 
Uh, yeah, you gotta move them. You gotta okay. move at least one of them. I go to the first one and I like shove <laughs> All right. the first one out of my way. Give me an athletics check. 18. Uh, which one are you gonna shove? The one you... right to the north. Okay. Boof. There's your opening. All right, and then I just start to go. Okay. <laughs> but I take a lot of one. Two, where can I get to? Uh, one, two. You can move your full speed. Uh, where's the thing? Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Yeah, I can get up there. Yeah. Get up there. Um, Houdini will follow you, and I will make eight opportunity attacks against you. Houdini will, uh, yeah, probably get ahead of me. I get a 17 from the first bunch. Nope. Uh, and I get an 18 is the highest from the second bunch. 18 hits. For six damage. And while that's happening, I get hit in the back and then I take a big breath. And I second wind. <laughs> And I just get re regain back six plus one d ten, so nine damage, or I heal nine. Um, you hear Cookie crying out, "Don't let them get away! They know our disgusting secret." <laughs> <laughs> um, we go Run, to the, we go to the top of the round with Wilhelm. <laughs> Um, is is the barricade still down? Like, can I jump back across? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, cool. I'm gonna just move then. Okay. And then as I see Rudy running towards me, I pull out my crossbow and line it up and shoot the closest fish, fish folk. Okay, uh, you've got uh, a range of 120 feet on that, so that shot will be with disadvantage, I believe. Yes, it will. Okay, go for it. I got a 14. It's a, still a hit. Covering fire. <laughs> uh, that's going to be nine damage. All right, that leaves the, that fish folk bloodied. I'm going to take another shot at him. Okay. Uh, I get a 12 to hit. That is a hit. Oh, sweet. Doing eight more damage. That kills it. <laughs> Rudy, run. Get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cookie. Um, Cookie cries out, don't let her get away. Don't let her get away. And uh, Cookie swims forward. Um, and, uh, the spiritual weapon moves, but it doesn't have enough movement to get up to you, Rudy. So, uh, make a, uh, wisdom saving throw against, uh, Toll the Dead. 18. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that one was 20 the disappointment, damage. The disappointment <laughs> in your voice. Come on. <laughs> okay. Wrath, Pretty it is your turn. Silly. Um, I, I go to the edge of the barricade. Um or the edge of the water before the other side of the barricade, and I also just let a barrage of uh, of Eldritch Blast. I have a range of 120 feet, so I'm just, I'm taking shots. Uh, can I hit, uh, do you think I could hit Cookie? I don't think you've really got line I don't of have the, sight. I don't have the line of sight, yeah, do I? Yeah, but you, you definitely have line of sight down to... to the, the closest the... ones to Houdini. Um, so I'm going to take a first shot at like the one yeah. on the uh, closest to Cookie. Uh, I get like a 26 to hit. Ugh. Um, for uh, 14 damage. Oh. <laughs> Not destroyed by that, though. Uh, and I take a shot at the uh, at the same one. Uh, 18 to hit. Also a hit. For 6 damage. Blown away. There it goes. And, and still calling out to Rudy. Nice. Okay. Uh, holding my wound. I'm still, I'm like kind of hunched over as I'm, as I'm kind of letting these shots go out. All right, let's see if I can get her. <laughs> All righty. I have full faith in Rudy. 
<laughs> they rush this. forward, <laughs> grabbing nets. <laughs> oh, them fighting words. <laughs> They so, so these two rush forward. They grab their nets, uh, and some of them are going to grab their the, uh, their spears. And uh, the 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 nets of the they only have a five foot range. So three of them are going to throw nets at you, Rudy. Uh, one gets a thirteen, a sixteen to hit. Oh no, none of them are going to get it. Uh, so in that case, the 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 this one's just going to run right up to you. Uh, this one is going to dash to try, and then it's going to flip up and uh, block the bridge with its body. Um, try. And try. this one is going to dash all the way up to you, and this one will dash all the way up to you as well. So that uh, oh, that one was the one that threw a net. Sorry. Um, so those these are yeah. There we go. <laughs> what does this become? Alrighty. Um, that's all from them. Rudy, it is your turn. I say, you can try to bring me down, but you ain't gonna. And I use my bonus action to shift into a terrifying wolf-like appearance. And I gain nine temporary hit points. Really, that's where I won't get it at is. Um, and I'm gonna dash. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, I'm gonna take opportunity attacks against you. Ah, oh. should have chosen monsters with a higher than a plus three to hit. <laughs> I'm like, come on, Houdini. <laughs> He's still waterlogged. Okay. <laughs> um, Wilhelm, what are you gonna do? Keep shooting. We, I, I really want that vial from Cookie, and I think that we actually, I don't know. Wilhelm sees that these things are falling to the Eldritch Blasts and the shots, and he stays put. He might move a little bit forward, so he's actually not at disadvantage. And then he's going to take shots at the one trying to hold the bridge. As I'm ready, I'm like, I thought we were leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we leave? We have work to do. <laughs> Wilhelm takes a shot with his crossbow. Who just stayed and murdered them? It was which, your choice. Which one do you want to shoot? There's a bloodied one and there's a non-bloodied one. Um, I'll shoot the bloodied one first. Sure. Uh, that's a 24 to hit. It's a hit. For 8 damage. It's a kill! And then I'm going to shoot the one on the bridge. Amazing. 24 to hit. Uh, for 10 damage. Leaves it bloodied as well. Taking one down, bringing another. Uh, Cookie's turn. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what do I have? You guys are running away fast. And Cookie does not have the range. Okay, let's see. Let's see what I got. Cookie's gonna leap up, and and uh, do I have it? Do I have you? I have you now. Uh, great. <laughs> uh, Wilhelm, told the dead. <laughs> I know. Do you accept a sixteen? <sighs> yes, I accept a sixteen. <laughs> Still hanging in there. Okay. Uh, the spiritual weapon's going to fly forward as far as it can. The squirming tentacle. Uh, but, uh, or it can only go, sorry, to there. Um, great. Um, Wrath, over to you. Um, I am not sure what I'm doing anymore. And uh, I just, uh, I'm going to take some shots at, uh, at, at Cookie. Okay. With the uh, with the Eldritch Blast, uh, I get a twenty three to hit for uh, eleven damage, Ugh. 
and a uh, 25 to hit for uh, seven damage. Uh, Cookie is very bloodied, uh, and she cries out, No! And Bruce is getting hungry, and Bruce starts to sneak up behind. Uh, nice. And he's floating over uh, over here. Okay. The fish folk. This one leaps over into the water. Um, and leaps up back over to attack Wilhelm. These two are going to rush forward and they're going to throw their spears at Wilhelm. Uh, and these two are going to swim and dash up. <laughs> so two, I might need saving again. <laughs> two spears hucked at Wilhelm. Uh, the two spears uh, get both less than 10. Uh, the melee hit only gets a 13. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Dodging. <laughs> All right, Rudy, it's your turn. All right. I see we're still fighting here. <laughs> so I'm just going to come back and uh, like, I and I don't even run run back. I just, I'm like, uh, oh, what? I thought we were running away, but I mean, I'm up for this too. And, and then I just start like axing people, um, especially the hurt one in front of me. So, um, well, yeah, that's a, that's a, 21. Oh no. For eight damage. Uh, that is a filleted fish. Yeah. Hey, hey, Wilhelm, do you remember your luck points? You know, sometimes. <laughs> do you remember how lucky you are? I literally just looked at them after my last turn and was like, oh yeah, should use this. You need to get a sticky note to like put on your screen. Oh, we've tried that. <laughs> it needs to go on my forehead, so when you're yeah. looking at me, yeah, because I stare at Joe all. Anything else, I have Rudy? Rudy? Twenty-five to hit the one diagonal to me. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be eight. yeah. And that's um, twelve damage. And I'm assuming he's still alive. He is. Fifteen plus eight, twenty-three to hit. He's not alive anymore. <laughs> Not with the, yeah, the second hit, he can't survive it. Cool. And I look at Will Elm and I say, "So are are we fin are we finished with them?" Looks like we can. <laughs> All right. We um, must get and, the vial. The, the fish folk turn back to Cookie and they go, "Oh, Archbeats Cookie! I don't think we outnumber them anymore." <laughs> <laughs> uh, we go to the top of the round with Wilhelm. Rule number four, know your strengths and your enemy's weaknesses. And it looks like our strength is in better positioning. And I'm going to um, actually fire a shot at Cookie from my crossbow. All righty. Getting a 25 to hit. It's a hit. You'll have to move up to the to here to avoid the disadvantage from the range. Fair enough, I do that. Uh, getting nine damage on her. Alrighty. She's still alive. I take my last, uh, another shot at her. E. Oh, I'm gonna use a luck point. Yes. Yeah! Woo! Uh, getting a 19. For nine more damage. What happens? So... I, I run up and I I yell out my rule and I fire a shot hitting her in one of her eyes and it bursts and as she's standing there screaming because of her burst eye I fire another one and it goes right into her throat and she collapses on the ground and then I move back behind Rudy. <laughs> Smart. Cookie is dead. Wrath, it's your turn. Bruce cannot help himself, and he swarms the corpse of the now fallen cookie. Um, while I continue to take shots, I'm going to take shots at the ones behind the uh, the barrier, um, uh, just past Trudy and Wilhelm. Cool. Uh, Seventeen for six damage, and a ooh, only an eleven to hit. 
Um, I think that's that's a miss. It it is a miss. Yeah. Okay, and then, uh, um, but I I want to get uh, as Bruce sort of falls upon Cookie. Can he grab the vial? Uh, yes. There's several now. Uh, like she had a whole pile of them back by her camp over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. But yeah. Um, with this, um, the fish folk are going to start fleeing. Um, this this one is going to dash and run all all away. There, these two are going to dive into the water and start swimming away as well, um, and swimming and moving as quickly as they can. Um, how do you want to handle this, guys? Chase to the edge. Uh, I, I mean, I'm going to take some some shots at them if I can see them. I'll also take shots if but I, can I won't. See them. But I won't pursue past like any sort of. Uh, okay. Each of you can both make two attacks with your ranged weapons to try to cut to, and we'll see if you can get them before they get away. Each of us? Yeah. Yeah. Can I, all, two, can I do two firebolts? Uh, you can do two, like basically one action worth of attacks. So like two oh, Eldritch okay. Blasts, two crossbow shots, two thrown axes. Can I do one firebolt? <laughs> I'm going to do one firebolt. Sure. Pew, pew. I get a 12 and a 20. Cool. That will shoot one down, Wrath. 15 to hit. That's a hit. For 18 fire damage. Oh, wow. Okay. And Wilhelm? Uh, I get a 15 and an 18 to hit. Roll the damage. Get him. Uh, seven and nine. Um, well, with all that, all of you managed to shoot them down before they can get away. I thought that was, I thought I was, am I wrong? Or like was halfway through there, I was about to kill all of you. Oh yeah. And then it was not all of repositioning, us. giving, giving <laughs> wrath and Wilhelm range and funneling all the enemies. It's it's a smart <laughs> it's a smart move. We then created a tunnel and shot them down as they ran after us. That gave us the advantage. So yes, you you Strategy. would have won. And I did it all on purpose. And I wasn't <laughs> running away, not even for a second. I had you all fooled. <laughs> Wilhelm turns to Wrath and he's like, "That was really intelligent uh, funneling them into the hallway like that for easy pick picking. Uh, really good strategy, Wrath. I didn't know you had it in you." What? And I'm pulling splinters out of my chest, uh, like these these sewer splinters, uh, as as I'm trying to yeah. recover from my wounds. As I come over, I'm like, boys, you gotta tell me if we're falsely running away or if we're actually running away, okay? <laughs> um, so I can be more prepared for this plan in the future. So just as a quick aside, we played right through our break and we have 45 minutes left in our game tonight. We can either take that break and play for another half an hour, or we could. I would alternatively propose that we play for another thirty minutes, not take a break, and just end fifteen minutes early. What would you guys prefer? Go with you there. What do you guys think? I mean, we're this we're this far along. I, yeah, I say we fine. could keep playing. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, maybe we should check the encampment for the vials. And see if we can interrogate our rat friend. Um, oh, oh, is I the actually... rat still alive? He didn't drown? He didn't drown. Wow. Uh, are right now around the corner. The rat can't see us. Um, Rath, I have an idea. I am listening. The rat folks seem to be as big as a person, correct? It, it appears that way. Can you turn into a rat folk and claim that you are here to rescue him and maybe find out where they are hiding. Maybe say you've gotten lost and ask for directions back to the home base. So I can... Uh... Same, same version, basic, basic arrangement of limbs. Um, the rat, most ratlings are small sized, but some are bigger and considered medium size. So while most are small, some are bigger than that. 
<clears throat> I clear my throat uh, as uh, as Wrath starts to hunch down and, <laughs> and his nose starts to get a little elongated um, ears. And I, I'm going to don the, the look, uh, uh, kind of a hodge, hodgepodge of the... Um, of all the rats that we murdered earlier, <laughs> attempting a uh, a disguise. Okay, including like some some makeshift weapons, uh, and and I and I I I run over to uh, the cage. And I'm gonna start to like fiddle with the lock. Is it is it awake? Is it the the it is it it sees it's watched the whole battle, right? Um, it was alive and conscious. It's gagged, and uh, now that the the fighting is over, and as you guys walk down the hallway, it was like bashing and trying. It's like frantically trying to get out. Like you ever like it, it's railing against the bars of its cage, trying to get out. Um, and it looks like there is a padlock on the cage of some kind, but what opens it? Who knows? Um, uh, and as you come up to it, it says, ah, Yes, 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 friend. Oh, you big brother. I don't recognize you, but friend, yes, friend, friend, friend. Let me so out. I reach in and I, I rip off the. I tell the, you where uh, secret treasure is. Yes, yes, yes. The gag. Yes, yes, yes. We, we. I, I see the fight. I see them. I see that they eat each other. The fish, the fish, and the and the the surface dwellers. Uh, we we must escape. We must escape. Yes, yes, yes. The manlings are gone. They kill all the fishes and not eat any of their bodies. It's very strange. They have yes, weird very cat. strange indeed. They yes, the cat is weird. Uh, we must we must escape. We there is lots of fish food here, and we must take what we can back to. Uh, Back to the lair. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We must tell Scribbles that we have killed all, all the fish folk. And yes, then she yes, will yes. let us eat all their, f we, actually, we should eat some of them first before we go back. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. But it's important to uh, feed ourselves. Uh, Scribbles can have lots. We need some as well. We are strong. We are strong rats. We, we must eat now because if Chungus and Chunker get them, they will eat them all. <laughs> So committing to the role uh, is important as an actor, as most of you know. So Wrath takes a big chunk of fish <laughs> person. <laughs> it tastes real bad. I uh, make a constitution <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> uh, 13. Okay. Uh, you succeed, but you are almost poisoned by the experience. <laughs> it's good, yes, yes, yes. The, the rattling delicious. is just, it is just not, just must eat up. They not feed me at all. They poke me, they prod me. Uh, they do strange things to me, like cut my hair and try to examine me. But no, I know, I know. I know all their secrets. I listen. Yes, yes, yes. I hear all they talk about. Yes, 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 yes. What secrets do you know? They have lots of shinies. <gasps> They're really big fish. There's a really, really big fish. They call her Duchess. They love her. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that would be tasty. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. We must tell the Scribbles. We must tell him about the... the the don't call scribbles him she'll get very mad if you call scribbles him yes 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 <laughs> the fi the fishes the fishes the fishlings they know they know they know where lots of the shinies are they speak of it it is in the sea in the water yes 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 they bringing it here yes 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 they bringing it to do strange things to the manlings. They not want eat the manlings. I don't understand. Manlings tasty. Manling tasty. Fish tasty. Everything, Everything tasty here. It great. Everything tasty here. It's so good. I got bumped on head. Evil wizard took away memory. I remember food. I remember hunger for fish people. I know not know where Scribbles is. Can you take me Scribbles? Make a deception check. <laughs> uh, I gotta... Uh, 
You get advantage. 26. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the Rattling says, oh, it okay. I got dropped drop on head as baby four times. <laughs> and then when it holds up its fingers, it holds up eight. <laughs> <laughs> it has been long journey for both of us. We bring food. We bring shinies. We take to scribbles. Yes, yes. We 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 bring. We 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 bring. What your name? I am Chompers. Chompers. Nice meet you, Chompers. You big 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 rattling. I. What what your name? My name is Small Tail. I see. Is it because of long tail or small tail? Um, it points to the, the, the nub of the tail remaining. Oh. I don't have that. I have long tail. I try go I fishing. Go. I try go fishing with it. Fish bite it off. <laughs> it happened. It happened. Uh, I want to start to gather up some of the delirium. It don't make me any less of a rattling. <laughs> <laughs> You philosopher, Rattling. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Scribble's very, very smart. She, Scribble's daughter of Scritches. Scritch's friend of the Rat Prince. Oh, you heard Rat Prince? They say, they, they say, Rat God going to make Rat King. Yes. Coming soon. Yes, yes, yes. I grew up all time under this, in this sewer. I only know this life. Need to see another life. Yes, yes, yes. We come here. We find more rats. Bring them back to big city. Yes, 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 yes. You hear a big city place. Yes, yes, yes. Where the big stone is. Yes, yes, yes. No. Where is big stone? There is big. You see the small shinies. Yes, yes, yes. There, oh yes there are big shinies there big shinies they make glow they make very strong very very strong yes 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 but we need to find more shinies more shinies out here there are more shinies the fish fishlings bring more shinies where they get them we don't know S -s -s scribbles say we find we find yes 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 yeah i, I i'm gonna start collecting i want to start collecting the delirium and, 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 and feverishly like putting it into like, uh, um, uh, like mm. my pouches on myself, but like almost small like tail kind of picks one up, gnaws on a piece of it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you must be very big. You must eat lots. Yes, yes, yes. It make you very big. I hear. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I filled up on delirium. I filled up on, on shinies before. <laughs> make uh, a deception check. <laughs> Rattlings don't use that word. <laughs> Um, uh, okay. 25. <laughs> that big word. I just call it Chinese. Yes, yes, yes. Surface people. I hear surface people call it that. I try to be more like scribbles. I try to use big word. It make manling sick. Yes, yes, yes. I know secret trick. Yes, yes, yes. You make, he starts cobbling together a slingshot and it's like, you shoot, you shoot manling like this, make them very, very sick. They die. All their guts inside get really, really soft and squishy and very tasty. Cool. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm still trying to recover from the, the fish thing. I, I'm still a little thrown off by... I'm getting like that... You know that second burp that you yeah. get? <laughs> you look very, very full. Yes, yes, yes. I will lead you back. I will lead you back to... to and we will, we will tell. We will... We will tell Scribbles of our great victory that we destroyed. And and he, he goes over to the corpse of um of Cookie and grabs the strange tentacled symbol that Cookie wears and pulls out one of Cookie's eyes and starts chopping off Cookie's head and be like, Yes, 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 we kill the priestess of the Duchess. Yes, 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 yes. Why do these manlings just leave good food on the floor? I don't understand manlings. They so strange. They have weird priority. They do not understand how to listen to their bodies. Always got to eat. Never know if it's going to be your last one. And Wilhelm, I'm like, Wilhelm, we better go around the corner because they're going to come and see us. 
I hope he's uh, gotten information on where the Duchess is and perhaps where the rats are, and hopefully he'll be back soon. Um, you you guys can wa- you guys can hear this conversation from safety, but I'll have uh, uh, um because you're kind of back in the in the previous area and you can hear the sound carrying. Um, and Smalltail says, "All right." He Smalltail pulls off one of the fins and the legs of one of the other fish folk. Says, "Snack for road, it long way." Yes, yes, yes. Follow me. Smalltail, Sounds like he's you- going to join them. <laughs> Small tail, you have to take me through manways. I too big to fit in rat hole. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I understand. You kind of fat. No offense. Thank you. <laughs> I have been big meals. Big meals. Uh, very full. Oh, very yes. filling. Very it, fat. As the That's old, why they call me chompers. As, as the old saying goes, first there is the great feeding, then there is the great breeding. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it good to be fat. Ah, eat lots. <laughs> okay, I take you this way. You follow me now. It across this way. Any any points to over where the door is? And I and I kind of am I'm like trying to mimic his his movements, but in a bigger body. So I'm kind of like going down on my fours sometimes when he's going down on his fours, and I'm going up and I'm kind of hunched over. Now the ratlings are it. actually pretty good swimmers. Uh, rat, many rats are pretty good swimmers. So he's going to lead you down. Uh, <laughs> into the the junction here uh in the water itself it's like, you swim yes 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 my 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 mother she too busy breeding and feeding to teach me swimming uh i i need help with swimming you have good go mom so. she dropped she, she only dropped you a handful of times it, very good only three times <laughs> we it, it was not focused for her <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, very, very good. Then this way, this way. We have to go longer way then. It will be slower if you cannot swim. It is okay. I do not mind. We will find more things to eat. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Follow, follow. Scurry, scurry. Quick, quick, quick. I guess, I, uh, Rudy, do we have to follow Rath? I, he seems really into his character. I thought he was just going to go gather intel. Uh, it looks like he's leaving. I think we should stay in range of him. All right, um, my let's... friends. I have eaten a fish and gained the trust of the rattling. Uh, please follow us. My hands are very dirty from being on the floor. Uh, I, I thought I you were just going to ask for directions. I didn't know we were going. We will follow. I believe we can follow him as far as we can, and then we will have to kill it. It will be up to you to to kill this rattling. Um, All right. Once we have surprise uh... us when we have come close enough. I will tell you when. I'm going to follow behind you at a safe distance. Can you can you have some sort of light so that I can follow the light? Um, what I can do is Rudy can follow you, and I can. I follow can see Rudy. him, and and I'll, <laughs> okay. I'll hold your hand, and I'll be like, "Come with me, we home." Once we know where their base is, we will kill the rattling, take note of the base, and then return to River with this information. Okay. Sounds good. Do we grab a vial? We should probably grab a vial. We grabbed, uh, like, on my way through, I'm going to grab as many vials as I can find. Yeah, which way are we going? uh, Yeah. uh, And the map-wise, which way does he take me? He's going to be taking you to the south. um, And uh, with with that, um, I think that is probably where we'll wrap up for tonight, then. (laughs) Um... (laughs) Um, we we skipped through the break. We ended a bit late. That kind of kind of evens out. But uh, with following as um, as small tail leads you through the sewers towards the lair of the ratlings, and uh, from there it will be up to you to decide what your next course of action will be. But we will have to find that out next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are taking next week off, I believe. Are that we is, not? Oh yeah, yes. that oh, yes. is correct. So. So uh, we, um, uh, Kelly, uh, very excitingly, is getting set up in some new digs. And so it's moving week next week. Uh, for- it's, it's also Canadian Thanksgiving. Canadian it is Thanksgiving. also Canadian Thanksgiving. It, it, it's a little sad because they're, they're telling most folks to cancel this year. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, how- I'm going to eat turkey in at spirit, home. In spirit, it's Canadian Thanksgiving. With, yeah, we're going to have. Yeah, be safe and enjoy your loved ones, maybe from a distance. 
Yes, 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 yes. Eat a delicious meal at home with those that you are socially distancing with and have a great time. Eat lots of big fat birds. Yes, 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 yes. Get nice. (laughs) (laughs) And if you're not living in Canada, uh, celebrate it anyway by eating a delicious meal and live live the life of a rattling and just feast. (laughs) Stay in your burrow and feast. That is the rat life. Hashtag rat. A good life motto. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. Okay, so with that, uh, we we have uh, a lot of uh, thankfulness to to get for. Anyways, uh, the usual thank yous, of course. A big thank you to our cast, uh, Jill, Kelly, and Joe for playing. Uh, as as always, and uh, dealing with all of our fun uh, internet slowness and <laughs> uh, fun power outages up here in Canadiana. And a huge thank you to Kyle for keeping all things running behind the scenes and for engaging in chat. And also a huge thank you to Monty Martin, our dungeon master, uh, for running such a stellar and almost deadly game. So thank you for that. (laughs) Thanks for keeping us on our toes. And a big shout out. in our game tonight, we have uh, a variety of incredible assets produced by talented artists. They have gracious, graciously given us their permission to use uh, these assets in our streamed games, but you can use them at your table too. And we encourage you to check out and support these amazing creators. We've got Roll20 with our virtual tabletop, Battle Maps by Alex Vendara of Neutral Party and Ross McConnell of Two Minute Tabletop. We have custom maps created using Dungeon Fog and Wonder Draft, player character artwork by Jeremy Cole, NPC token artwork by Matthias Bourbon. We have monster token artwork from the D&D 5e Monster Manual and other source books. Spell effects tokens by Gabriel Picard and music by Tabletop Audio. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, thank you, Monty, for a fantastic (laughs) character evening. (laughs) (laughs) And of course, don't forget to look at the links below for our Teespring store. You can find all of your favorite Dungeon Dudes t-shirts including Dusk Wardens, Way Bigger Than Ducks, and of course, the return of Yes, Yes, Yes is one of the staples. Uh, Check out bit.ly slash Dungeon Dudes merch. The videos and the live streams that we create on our channel are made possible thanks to the generous support of our Patreon community. A massive thank you to all of our patrons uh, for all all of this with all the chaos of of life and the world and everything. Uh, Your incredibleness and amazingness and generosity has continued to make this channel possible. If you enjoy the work that we do here on YouTube, Twitch, and elsewhere, please consider becoming a patron of our show. You can find it by following the links in the descriptions below or at patreon.com slash dungeon underscore dudes. Also keep in mind that if you are joining us on uh, in, in our Patreon, you can also join us on Discord. We have a Discord that is exclusive for our wonderful patron, uh, and you can join us there and talk to us about all things D&D, all things Drakenheim, really any nerdy topics you want, as well as participating in monthly writer's rooms with Monty and I, and also uh, submitting questions for our monthly Q&As as well. Uh, so join Join us on Discord if you do join our Patreon and just hang out and chat with us there. All all of us are there. Even the elusive Kyle can be seen from time to time. And Joe, Jill, myself, and Monty are all there as well. Yep. So we will be back on uh, not uh, this upcoming Tuesday, uh, but of course, in the meantime, you can always find Kelly and I when we post new videos every Thursday on our YouTube channel, where we cover everything D&D, including advice for Dungeon Masters and guides for players. And uh, be sure to join us live, uh, not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after when we record the campaign live on Twitch. That will be the 20th of October. 20th, yeah. The 20th of October is the next time we will be playing. You can check us out from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. I believe we've gotten all of our uh, time things sorted out. So it should be back to our 6 p.m. slot. Uh, so 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes. And you can also watch all of the previous episodes of this show and the previous seasons up on YouTube as well. One of the really cool things as well is Baldur's Gate 3 just went out on early access today. So uh, we're thinking we might power that up as well at some point uh, and get uh, get 
folks properly up and running with that. Maybe uh, Joe and myself, and it, we'll, we'll have to get Kelly up and running on it too sometime, and maybe even Jill. We'll have to see. So we might also try playing some Baldur's Gate 3 uh, so if, if cool. any of y'all are interested in, uh, in that as well. We'll see if we can stream that stuff up too. Um, and with that, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time in the shadows of Drakenheim. Bye.